Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you advanced automation or actively writing envelopes actions in Reaper. So let's check out some of these actions. We'll go to the actions menu. And in the filter, we'll type actively. And these actions show up. This one is going to write current values for actively writing envelopes from cursor to the start of the project. This will do the same thing to the end of the project. This will do the same thing for the entire envelope. This one is for time selection. And this one's going to write envelopes from the cursor to the first touched position. So let's go through them all. Now, the easiest way to work with these is to create a toolbar for each one to trigger their action. So let's go over here to my toolbar. And I'm going to open a toolbar that I normally use for automation. This one right here. I can switch my modes from write to touch, latch, and read, and also trim. But let's add these advanced automation actions to this toolbar. And we could do that by right clicking over here, customize toolbar, and add the actions right here. Type in actively again, and again they show up. We'll select each one, select and close. Now they show up right here. So now if we save it and close it, it looks like this. Now I went ahead and customized this with toolbar icons, so it looks like this. So those five actions now appear here. So let's go through them. Let's switch this track to latch mode. All these actions are going to work only when the envelopes are active or we're actively writing in them. So most of the times, we're going to use either write or latch mode. You could use touch mode, but it makes it more complicated because it's only going to work while you're holding the fader. Now in this video, I'm using a controller, so you can see the fader move over here. So let's start with this one right here, which is going to write to the entire envelope when the fader is active. So let's hit play. Let's move the fader down to here. I can let go because I'm in latch mode. Then we can trigger that action and it writes that level to the entire envelope. So it's really good for getting a level of a whole track while playing around with it. We can click over here while in latch mode, find a good level for this track. Let's say we like it right here. Go to this button and it writes it to the entire project. Now I also like using pause when using these advanced automation actions. Let me show you why. So you can hit play, find the new level, say down here, hit pause, which is control spacebar on the PC or command spacebar on the Mac. Or you can do enter non numerical on the PC or return on the Mac. And that pauses it, but it puts the edit cursor right at that point. So I can go over here for our entire envelope, hit that button, and it performs that function. The entire envelope moves to that level. Let's try the same thing with these two over here. This one is going to write to the start of the project. Hit play. Find a new level, maybe down here or up here. When we're happy with it, hit pause. And if we hit this button over here, it's going to write from the edit cursor to the beginning of the project, right up to here, just like that. And it works the same way with this button here. Find the level, hit pause, hit this button. And it writes from this spot to the rest of the song. But it works differently if we do it on the fly. Let's start over. And now let's use this one on the fly while we're actually writing the envelope. Choose the level down here, say. Hit this one right here. And it writes that level right from this point where we hit play. Let me show you again. Let's say we're setting a level for this section over here. We want to start the level here, but we're not sure of it. So we want to find it on the way, move it around, 
let's say the level's good here. Click the button. It jumps back to where we hit play. So where we start matters. We can go over here, get a lower level, and bring it down from where we started. It's very useful for making automation moves without having to draw in our envelopes. And it's even more helpful when using a control surface. So let's check out the next two. This one is set up for time selection. So let's start again. And let's say we're working on a section right over here. Let's go to here. We want to change the level just of this section. We could start anywhere over here or in here. Let's start before it. Let it play. Get the good level. Let's say we like it right here. Go to time selection, hit that, and it writes it just within our time selection. And it'll work for pause as well. In fact, it's even better with pause. Let me show you why. Let's undo that. Let's clear the time selection. And now let's say we're working with a part that's pretty similar in different sections of the song. Let's say it's this part right here. Let's get a good level for it. Move around and try to find it. Hit pause. Now we can go to time selection. That whole section has that level. But we could use it again. Zoom out, go to this section over here. And if it's a similar section, we want the same level. We could hit this again, and it writes it there. Let's zoom in, maybe here as well. Maybe here. All these different sections can have that same level. So it's kind of like using snapshot automation. Let's clear it again. Let's do the same thing. Working on this section right here. Get a good level for it. Hit pause. Hit time selection. And we've captured that level. We could add it over here. Or over here. Or any section throughout the whole song. Now let's go to the last option. Let's clear this again. And what this option is going to do, it's going to write current values for the envelopes from the first touched position. So if you remember before, this option over here goes back to where you hit play. So if we start here, hit play, get a good level, hit the button, it goes back to where we started playing. But with this option, it's based on where it's punched in. So if we're using latch automation, it's based on when we touch the fader. So let's start over here. I'm going to grab the fader right about here, get a new level. And if I'm happy with it, hit this, and it goes back to where I first grabbed the fader, right here. Let's do it again. Hit play. Grab my fader right here. Hit the action. And it goes back to where I first touched the fader. It's great for writing our levels. Let me give you an example. Let's say we're trying to get a level on this line right here. And as it comes up, we don't get loud enough. So I bring it up, and it's not loud enough, so I go a little further, and now I'm happy. So I can hit this, and it goes back to where I meant it to be. So it goes back to the level I wanted to bring it up to. This makes it a lot easier to ride things. Let's do it again. Try to bring it up, then go far enough. Maybe I want it here. Hit this, and it goes back to where I grabbed the fader. Now all these actions react to a preference. Let me show you. See this curve right here? This is a reaction time from when we first grab the fader. So if we go to our preferences, we can adjust it down here. Under automation, right here, our return speed. It's set to 100 milliseconds. Let's change it to 1,000, which is a full second. And now let's see the difference. Let's undo that and do the same thing. Hit play, bring the level up. So maybe here, hit this button, it goes back, but the return speed, or how quick it reacts, 
is a full second. So the default is 100 milliseconds, but we can change it. We can make it 50, and it'll react a bit quicker. So undo that, do the same thing, bring it up to the good level, hit this right here, and it goes quicker. And like I said, the default is 100 milliseconds. And this is going to work with any of these. So if I start here, getting our level, and choose this instead, it adjusts based on that return speed. So that's pretty much it. That's the advanced automation actively writing envelopes actions. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use them, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!